Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to take a look at importing a Word document into Papyrus and then converting it to a project. Now the benefits of converting a, a single file into a project are this. A project will create a single folder and store everything conveniently within that folder. So when you create your uh, character databases, research databases and things like that it is all stored within the one folder. If you choose to keep your document as a single document then create character bases and research databases. They can become lost because they're not all stored together. So um, I highly recommend uh, creating projects. So with that said, let's take a look. Okay, so this is a 208,000 word work in progress. So I'm going to drop it onto the Papyrus icon. That's how quick it opened the file. If I open the navigator, you can see all of its chapters were correctly um, uh, correlated. If I press save, uh, I'll go not for this document at the moment, that's your backups. It's now created the Longthorn book PAP file. So this is just a document file, it's not a project. To convert it into a project, you would come to Author, My Project, and Convert to Project. Then you would click the Convert to Project button. It'll ask you where you want to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop again, just so that you see the folder create. But you could choose to save it to My Documents or wherever. So I'll press convert and there's the project. So what it's done, it's moved the PAP file into um, the, the folder with all the files that are about to be created. So for instance, I'll, I'll just sort of squeeze this down so you can see things being created. If I was to go back to author again, the author menu, and for instance, if I clicked on my research, and go create research database, you instantly see it be created within the document for your project. So how long did that take? That took 1 minute and 47 seconds to convert a 208,000 word project, uh, work in progress from Word into a project within Papyrus that you're then ready to create uh, characters for um, locations and timelines okay okay so I, I hope you enjoyed that video and I think you agree with a few mouse clicks you've turned your uh, work in progress into a full-fledged uh, project where you can enjoy using characters locations and so on so until next time I'll catch you later <laughs>